So I'm always finding new, uh, better ways to address certain body conditions. So today we're gonna to talk about psoriasis and a, a new remedy that I think can greatly benefit uh, anyone with psoriasis. Now, of course, check with your doctor before implementing this. I'm not telling you it's gonna cure your psoriasis, but I'm just gonna give you the information and you can try it out for yourself to see if it can work. So with psoriasis, there's some interesting things going on. You have an accelerated growth rate of certain skin cells by a factor of 10 times faster than your normal cells. And then it turns into like this uh, dry, placking, flaky, red thing that then eventually falls off and then it keeps happening over and over again. There's also a high association with gut problems like irritable bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel disease and psoriasis. And psoriasis is an autoimmune disease and since most autoimmune disease originates in the gut, this makes a lot of sense. There is also a high association with people having joint problems and psoriasis as well. So let me just kind of introduce you to this one little piece of the puzzle that has been missing in some of the other videos. Well, there's this thing in your skin cells that is a combination between an amino acid and a sugar. So certain parts of your body are made from proteins, other parts are made from fats, and yet other parts are made from a combination of protein and sugars, okay? And probably one of the reasons for that is because when you combine a sugar with a protein, you can get various new functions. Like, for example, that tissue can now hold a lot more water. And so it can act to help lubricate things. Um, and this is why like the, the layer of your colon, the mucosal layer is that tissue combining a protein with a sugar. Also, the inside of your sinuses that need this lubrication are also uh, combining that tissue as well. Also, in your skin, you have this, we'll call it amino sugars, which is a combination of amino acids and sugars to help with elasticity, hydration, etc. And so this protein-sugar combination structure in your skin is called GAG. And so one of the functions in your skin is to supply the structural integrity of the collagen, and other tissues like elastin, which provides elasticity. In fact, one fifth of all the sugar in your skin uh, provides the raw material for that structure. And so why am I talking about it? Why does this matter? Well, because in psoriasis, apparently there's higher levels of this GAG structure in the urine, which means that it's probably breaking down to a certain degree. There is even antibodies to that structure as well because psoriasis is an autoimmune condition so there's antibodies involved so certain information that i'm going to list down below uh, indicate that when you have psoriasis you have an abnormal problem with this type of uh, structure which is interesting because you also see the same problem occurring with people that have um, inflammatory bowel disease so in other words people that have inflammation in the gut or they have this IBD, they usually have a destruction of this mucus layer. So it's not there to protect you. It's one of the primary barriers for your immune system. And so if it's not there, you're wide open to developing all sorts of immune problems, not just food allergies, but even autoimmune. So we have that interesting correlation there as well. So apparently the remedy I'm going to talk about is like a precursor to this GAG structure. And this precursor is called NAG which stands for N-acetylglucosamine. And this NAG is a precursor, it's a building block for this GAG. And so apparently there's some interesting data to show that it can improve psoriasis. So it can do several things. It can actually help uh, control the growth of this rapidly dividing cell that's behind psoriasis. So it's involved in growth regulation. And it can also stimulate more of those GAGs to have built up the lining in your colon, as well as the support structure in your skin. So there's a lot of people who use it for leaky gut, for bowel problems, for joint problems, but now they're using it for psoriasis. And it also has uh, an immunosuppressive effect to actually kind of calm down the T cells that are involved in an autoimmune reaction. So it's basically anti-inflammatory. And it provides the raw material to help repair the cells. 
So it's something I wanted to uh, mention and create a video on it. Uh, if you have psoriasis, this is definitely something you want to look at. I've done other videos on psoriasis. If you're going to take this remedy, I would recommend taking between 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams or more over a period of time. And definitely, if you haven't seen my other video on psoriasis, um, this one's a really important one as well. Check it out. I put it up right here.